Go baseball fans, it's me, Sportsman Z. Today I got a uh, one-off game for you, uh, Stratomatic Baseball, uh, using the basic game. And uh, this is going to be a National League matchup. And it's going to be the 1985 New York Mets visiting the 1972 Cincinnati Reds. Um, the Mets in 1985 won 98 games, and the Reds in 1972 won 95 games. So it should be a good matchup. Um, the Reds will be home, and uh, on the mound for the Reds, and taking the field along with the rest of the Reds, will be Jack Billingham. And in 1972, Jack Billingham had a record of 12 and 12 with a 318 earned run average in 218 innings pitched. And he will start off the game dealing to Mookie Wilson. And Mookie Wilson gets a single. So right away, the Mets don't waste any time. And they get a, uh, oh, I put it. All right, sorry about that. We're back. We got a runner aboard for the Mets. And Lenny Dykstra is up. And he gets a 5-5, which is a strikeout. One away. Keith Hernandez is up. He gets a 2-8. That's a ground ball, shortstop into a double play, and the Mets are eliminated quickly. So... The Reds are now up at the plate, and in the field we have the 85 Mets with Ron Darling pitching for the Mets today. In 1985, he was 16 and 6 with a 290 earned run average in 248 innings pitched. And he will start off dealing to Bobby Tolan. And he gets a 5 9, which is a walk. So both teams end up with their first runners aboard. Joe Morgan up. And Joe Morgan gets a 1-7. That's a walk. So they have the first two runners aboard. And all of a sudden, Darling is in a little bit of trouble with Pete Rose at the plate. Charlie Hustle gets a 4-8. And that is a strikeout. So that's the first out of the inning for the Reds. Johnny Bench is up. He gets a 3-2. That's a line out into as many outs as possible, which will be a double play to end the inning. So nobody, uh, nobody scores there for the Reds. And we go to the top of the second with the Mets coming up. And Gary Carter is up at the plate. And he gets a uh, ground ball to the pitcher, and he's out. Daryl Strawberry gets a 210. That's a single. So Daryl Strawberry gets a board with a hit. That's the second hit for the Mets today. Wally Backman up. He gets a 6 7. That is a ground ball to the second baseman for the Reds. And that is Joe Morgan, and he's a 2. So we'll roll. We'll see what happens there. Second base two. Um, and on an 11 is an out double play. And that is it for the Mets. They don't score in the second. We go to the bottom of the second. Up steps Tony Perez for the Reds to face Ron Darling. He gets a 3-7, which is a double 1-16, to 16, and that is going to be a double. So a leadoff double by Tony Perez, and with Concepcion up, they're going to sacrifice. And that's a 5, I think that's a good sacrifice. Yep, batter is thrown out by the pitcher, and the runners advance 1. So now they've got a runner at 3rd, 90 feet away. With only one out. And Dennis Menk is up. The infield won't come in. And that's a single. And drives in a run. 
So they actually that was their second. They got two hits so far here, and they got a run. And that brings up Caesar Geronimo. He gets a 6-6. Six, six. That is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is... Um, let's see. Backman, and he's a 3. And that's a 15. That might not be good. 15-3. No, it is. And it's an out with no runners on. And uh, that's... I believe that's two, two away. Right? No, that's three. That's three. We go to the top of the third. And the Reds are ahead. one nothing. Ray Knight is up facing um, Jack Billingham. He gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a strikeout. One away. Rafael Santana is up. He gets a 3-8. That's a pop out to third. And that's going to bring up the pitcher, Ron Darling. And he gets a 5-8, which is a fly ball to right field. And that's the inning. No runs come in for the Mets. We go to the bottom of the third. Leading off is Jack Billingham facing Ron Darling. That's a 3-10, which is a ground ball to third. And it's the first out. Bobby Tolan's up. He gets a 2-7. That is a pop-out to second. Two away. And Joe Morgan's up, and he gets a 3-4, which is a fly to right. So the Reds fail to do much of anything there. We go to the top of the fourth. Still two hits apiece with the Reds ahead by a run. And Mookie Wilson facing Billingham. 3-8 is a walk. And Mookie Wilson is a stealing A. They're going to try to steal second base, even on bench. And they do make it. So, he makes it to second. Lenny Dykstra's up. 2-3 is a ground ball second base. One away. Keith Hernandez gets a 5-6. That is a fly ball to left. Two away. And Gary Carter is up, and he gets a 4-6, which is a walk. Daryl Strawberry's up. He gets a 4-7. That is a single one to five. And it's an out. It is an actually a... Uh, seven is a line out to first base. So we will go to... The bottom of the fourth in a one nothing game with the 72 Reds ahead of the 85 Mets by a run. And Pete Rose up the plate facing Ron Darling. Pitcher's duel between Darling and Billingham. And that's a 1-9, which is a ground ball to second. Rose is out. Johnny Bench is up. 3-8 is a walk. Tony Perez is up. He gets a 6-10. 6-10 is a single. So the Reds have a little thing going here. They got one out. Runners at first and second. And Dave Concepcion up. And he gets a 4-12, which is a ground ball first base C. That'll move runners over to second and third. But there's two down now. And Dennis Mank up. And he gets a 5-10. And that's a catcher's card. And the catcher is, of course, Carter, and he is, I believe, a 1. He is. That's an 11 and a 1 at catcher, which is a foul out. So, no run score for the Reds. They don't even get the pass ball. And we go to the top of the 5th. In a one nothing game, with Wally Backman up facing Billingham. 
And he gets a 5-8, five, five, which is a fly ball to right. One away. Ray Knight up. He gets a 5-4. That is a fly ball to center field. And the center fielder is a 2. And that's going to be an 18 and a 2, which is an out. That's 2 away. And Santana's up, and he gets a 1-6. That's a single. So he manages to get a board. But that brings up Darling with two down and a man at first. And 110 is a strikeout. So no runs come in again for the Mets. We go to the bottom of the fifth. One nothing slim one nothing lead still being held by the 72 Mets over the 85 or the 72 Reds over the 85 Mets. Caesar Geronimo gets a strikeout. And that brings up Billingham. Billingham gets a 5-8. That is a fly ball to right, two away. And Bob Tolan gets a 4-3. And that is a ground ball to the pitcher. And he is a 2 defensively. 11-2. That might be something. It is. It's a one-base error by Ron Darling. And that brings up Joe Morgan. And he gets a 5'11", which is a ground ball to the first baseman. That's Hernandez. He's a 1. 10 and 1 is a one base error. So two consecutive errors have put the uh, Reds in a good situation here. With Pete Rose up and he gets a 1-6 and that's a double 1-2 and they're going to cash in on that. And they do with a single double asterisk which scores a run. And uh, you know what? I got to believe that they're behind here on the. Well, maybe not because the Mets did have two errors, actually. So, yeah. And the Reds get another run. And Johnny Bench up at the plate, and he gets a 410, which is a fly ball to center, and he's a two. That's a 12 and a two, probably an out. And it is. But the Reds strike for another run, and they have what looks like a commanding lead, even though it's only a two-run lead. We go to the top of the sixth with Mookie Wilson up, and he gets a 111, which is a ground ball to first, and he's out. Lenny Dykstra gets a 6-6. Six, six. That is a strikeout, two away. And Keith Hernandez is up, and he gets a 1-2, which is a ground ball to third base, plus injury, and will roll for the injury. And that's only temporarily injured and stays in the game, and even if it really isn't, I'm going to say it is. It's only one game. It's not like we're playing a series here, and it depends on anything, so... Uh, we will go to the bottom of the sixth. Two-nothing Reds, and Tony Perez up. And he gets a 111, which is a ground ball to short. One away. It's not like Darling has pitched poorly, because he hasn't. Concepcion's up. He gets a 4-4. That is a fly ball to center. Two away. And Dennis Mink is up, and he gets a 210, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. No runs come in for the Reds. We go to the top of the seventh. Moving right along. Gary Carter is up at the plate for the Mets. 210 is a home run. So the Mets get on the board, and it's 2-1. to one. Damn. All right. Well, I'm not going to go back and redo that. So This scoreboard, I tell you. All right. So they've got a run on a home run, and their fourth hit, apparently. And we have uh, Strawberry with a triple one to seven or a double. So all of a sudden, the Mets are just doing a barrage on Billingham. And it is because it's a triple. The Reds will bring the infield in this time because there's no outs. And Wally Backman is up. And Wally Backman gets a 6-8, which is a double one to ten. All of a sudden, Billingham has just lost it here. It's a single and drives in the run. Another error. I, 
pay, don't pay any attention to the errors, I guess. Really, I don't even know if you should pay attention to the hits, because I might be wrong on those. Ray Knight is up. There are no outs. And he gets a 5-9, which is a strikeout. One away. And uh, Santana's up. He gets a 2-8, which is a ground ball third base, double play. And the Mets are out of the inning. They get out of the inning. But they do get their two runs to tie the game. We go to the bottom of the seventh in a tie game between these two evenly matched teams with Cesar Geronimo up at the plate. 4-9 is a pop-out to shortstop, one away. Billingham is up. They're going to let him uh, bat 5-4 is a ground ball to the third baseman. That's Ray Knight. Ray Knight, really not that great. Third base, four. 17 and four is out with no runners. So that's an out. Two down and Bobby Tolan's up and he gets a 2-8, which is a single. So he's aboard. Fourth hit, supposedly, for the Reds. I don't know if I've been tracking it right. Joe Morgan is up and he gets a 4-6. And uh, that is going to be a walk. And so now Darling is doing a little bit of falling apart. And Pete Rose is up. And he gets a 6-2, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. And he's out. So we, are, we find ourselves in a tie game. Going to the top of the eighth. With Darling up, they are going to pinch hit. And the pinch hitter is going to be Howard Johnson. And that is a 4-6, which is a walk. So Hojo is aboard. And that brings up Mookie Wilson. Mookie Wilson gets the 3-9. That's a strikeout. One away. Lenny Dykstra gets a 2-9, which is a fly to center, two away. And Keith Hernandez gets a 4-8, and that is a pop-out to shortstop. So the Mets are now going to need a new pitcher. And since they, let's see. will be Doug Sisk. So he Sisk comes on to pitch for the Mets. And he will be greeted by Johnny Bench. As we go to the bottom of the eighth. And that is a 6-10. 6-10 is a walk. Johnny Bench is aboard. No outs. Tony Perez is up. He gets a 210, but that's a fly ball center field. One away. Dave Concepcion is a 1 9. That's a ground ball shortstop into a double play. And there are no runs coming across for the Reds as we go to the top of the ninth inning in a tie game here. Gary Carter up at the plate. He gets a 1 5. That's a pop out to short. One away. Billingham still going. Strawberry's up. He gets a 1-7. That's a home run. Gone. Let's see if I can make this be a hit. Yes. And a run for the Mets. And they take a 3-2 lead with Wally Backman up. One out. Base is empty. That's a 5-8. That is a fly ball to right. Two away. And Ray Knight up. And he gets a 6-11 which is a ground to the pitcher, and the pitcher is a three defensively. And that's a 15. That ain't going to be good. It isn't. It's a one base error. And then up steps Rafael Santana. That's a 6-6, six, six, and it's a strikeout. And no runs come across. 
And they brought in Sisk. They're going to leave Sisk out there in the bottom of the ninth to protect the one-run lead. Dennis Menk is up at the plate. He gets a 5-4, which is a fly to center, and that's a 2. And that's a 3. That's going to be bad. That's going to be real bad news. 3-2 is a safe at second on error. So, no outs, and Caesar Geronimo is up, and they are going to sacrifice him over. That's an 8. I think that still works. Yes, it does. Batter is thrown out by first baseman, runners advance one. The Mets will bring in the infield, and with Billingham up, they will pinch hit for Billingham. And the... The pinch hitter will be Hal McRae. Runner at third. One out. Hal McRae up. He gets a 5-9. And that is a fly ball left field C, which does not score the run. And that brings up Bobby Tolan. With a runner at third, the infield is now back with two outs. And he gets a 2-6, which is a walk. Puts runners at the corners. Everybody on the edge of their seats here. And Joe Morgan up, and he gets a 6-7, which is a single and knocks in a run. And it ties the game. Oh, nah, now I gave it to the wrong team. This is all kinds of messed up scoring here. But at least you know that the score is 3-3. Pete Rose is up at the plate. He gets a 1-6. That's a double 1-2, to two, single double asterisk, and it's going to win the game. And it's a single, but it wins the game anyway. In the bottom of the ninth, with another hit and another run. And they win the game. The 72 Reds beat the 85 Mets 4-3 as Doug Sisk cannot hold it together in his second inning of work they let him go they let him stretch a, a second inning and it did not pay off for them so the final score here is 72 reds for 85 mets three and that's going to be it for me sportsman z bob zolke with my messed up scoreboard signing off